Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows in the rain is pouring. So, in today's video, we are going to be letting my TBR jar pick out my November reads. If you don't know what a TBR jar is, it is basically a jar filled with prompts and these prompts will then encourage me to pick a book depending on the prompt. I'm sorry about this background, I really thought it'd be cute but it kind of looks a bit dark and gloomy. It's definitely giving kind of like more October TBR vibes but there was nowhere that I could place the physical copies of the books because I don't have a TBR cart because I am mainly a Kindle reader. As you can see, I have no reads currently going at the moment and we need to start picking them. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, these five books here are actually the main ones I would like to be picking from today. I'm gonna pick six prompts, but I have downloaded all of the new November 99p Kindle deals onto my book, all the ones I've wanted onto my book, onto my Kindle. There are also some options, but these are kind of like my definite want to read this month. As you can see, I have two Christmas books in here and then I've got some fantasy and then I just have a romance. So let's get picking. I'm very, very, very excited about this. As always, you will be the first to see. So we've picked out our first prompt. Let me just make sure you're getting the right side first. Yeah, hopefully you can see it. Sorry about my nails as well. Oh my God. Here we go. A book picked by a prompt from a random prompt generator. So basically I need to go on to a random book prompt generator and it's gonna basically give me a, like maybe like it's a, it'll say fantasy or romance. We'll just click this and see what we got. Hopefully it's something good. A purple cover. Well. We're not starting off strong with the physical TBR because as you can see, there is no book with a purple cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go onto my Kindle. I'm gonna go through this real quick, try and find a purple cover and yeah, I'll come back. So we actually have a good few choice. Well, I say good few, we have three choices. So the first choice that we have is The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. I actually haven't heard much about this book. I do know that it is a romance and I'm presuming it's about maybe fake dating. So we have that as an option. We also have, if I can remember, Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood. Would you consider that pink or would you consider it purple? I think it's like a pinky purple. And then I also have Between Friends and Lovers by Shirlene. I really don't want to butcher her last name. I really, I'm not gonna try it, but I'm pretty sure I haven't heard of it. The one that Percy for me, I am have been most excited for has been either Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood or The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. And because The Fake Mate is genuinely purple and Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood is more like a pinky purple, I'm gonna choose The Fake Mate as our first prompt. I actually really, really like that prompt. I feel like that prompt was a prompt that I feel like was very specific. I don't know, I like when a prompt chooses a prompt to pick my book. Okay, second one is a book with a name in the title. Okay, once again, none of the books that I want to read. So let's jump onto Kindle. I can go through these with you in real time. So, First, we have Balladonna, which is a book I only just downloaded today. Um, I'm presuming Balladonna is actually the name of someone. I don't actually know for definite, but we'll go with that. We have Balladonna. We have Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Oh my God, is that it? No way. We have Magnolia Parks. Could I start that? I definitely could start that. Okay, so we have Magnolia Parks. We have Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies and we also have Belladonna. Now, I'm terrified to start Magnolia Parks because there is such hype around it and I genuinely am just scared that I won't enjoy it. So I'm gonna leave Magnolia Parks for now and I'm gonna pick Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I have been really, really, really interested into reading this. I've seen so many people, like so many people read this book and basically from 
what I can remember. It's basically like a cozy fantasy, but not too heavy on the fantasy. Enter the world of the hidden folk and discover the most whimsical, enchanting, and heartwarming tales I'll ever read this year. Emily Wilde is good at many things. She's a foremost expert on the study of fairies. She's a genius scholar and a meticulous researcher who is writing the world's first encyclopedia of fairy lore. But Emily Wilde is not good at people. So when she arrives in the hard scrabble village of, oh my god, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Absolutely not. Emily has no intention of befriending the gruff townsfolk, nor does she care to spend time with another new arrival, her dashing and insufferably handsome academic rival, Wendell Bumblebee. So there you go. I'm actually very, 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 very excited to read this. I was actually hoping that this would be on my list um, for this month so i'm very very excited about that so far i'm really really loving my choices i'm really not in the thriller mood at all um i'm more in the fantasy and romance mood so this is making me very very happy prompt number three a book published by an author this year okay i genuinely have no idea i definitely know that assassin blade isn't i definitely know tilly cause isn't um Christina Lauren in the holidays, I'm pretty sure was not 2020. Maybe it's cold outside. Oh my God, no way. She's an Irish author. We love this. 2021, I definitely know that these aren't. Okay, so once again, my physical TBR is not getting touched at all. So on we go to back to the Kindle. So I'll come back when I have some options. Guys, this literally, I'm not even going any further than giving you options because this is literally so perfect for me. So I have all three of Laura Gilmore's The Dream Harbour books and I did not realise that the Cinnamon book, Bun Bookstore was this year. I don't know why I thought it was last year. So that is 100% going to be my prompt for a book published by an author this year. I'm not joking you. I was really, really hoping to get to this in November and then the Christmas tree farm in December, hoping that my prompts will allow me. But I have heard that even though it's called the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore and Cinnamon Buns to me are autumn and the cover has orange leaves, apparently it's set in summer. Apparently it's set in summer. So not too sure about that, but I am very, very, very excited to get to that because I do want to get to the Christmas tree farm obviously in December. So prompt number three, the cinnamon bun books or guys so far i'm loving this of course we have not gone to this but it is what it is next prompt okay here we go oh no focus a book blindly picked by instagram okay okay this is good this is good i'll ask siri pick a number between one and five so then i'm not picking these books but whatever number comes out is what i will pick pick a number between number five four guys i've not read throne of glass yet and assassin's bait i know i'm sorry but assassin's bait and not throne of glass okay so this is our first option and now we're gonna pick a number between one and four generate number two okay so baby it's cold outside by emily bell so these are two options that i'm going to put on instagram and blindly let you choose um so we've got assassin's blade by sarah j mass and we've got baby it's cold outside by emily bell both i'm really excited for this i'm very excited for because i really want to start turn of glass and then this i'm really excited for now that i found out it's an irish book and also it's getting into the christmas vibe so what i'm gonna do I want to take a photo, cover them, and what I'll do is when I continue my next two prompts after I put this up, I will come back to it at the end and we can see which one you guys pick. It won't be that long, it'll be maybe 10 minutes. So I want to make sure I really cover the book so no one gets any hints. I will put a little snowflake over the Emily Bell one so you guys can kind of get the vibe of what this is and then what should i do for this what should i do for turn of glass well i do like a little sword this really awkward because most of my followers on instagram are actually just my friends and um, people i know so they're gonna be like is she okay and the answer is no okay right we'll leave that to the side we'll let instagram decide what i'm doing and we've got two more prompts left so let's keep going while that is 
going on. Okay, our next prompt. A book by an author I haven't read before. Okay, this is really good because there's not a lot of authors that I have read before. I'm usually someone that once they find an author, they kind of stick to it. I'm gonna go for my physical TBR just because that's my priority right now. So we've got A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole, which is like I said is a romance. We've got In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And we also have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Now, I would love to pick In a Holidays by Christina Lauren because I have actually bought it on my Kindle as well. It was on like the November 99p deals. I'm not going to pick The Cruel Prince for this because I feel like I need to get into more fantasy before I get into this series. Like the only fantasy I've ever read is Actor. And I'm trying to ease myself into like Throne a Glass, like the um, Perilous series, like Once Upon a Broken Heart and then move on to this. So I think my option that I'm gonna go for is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. This is definitely the US version because it's very um, large compared to normal paperbacks. But this is, ooh, one boy, one girl, a bond that is forged in an instant and cherished for a decade, a bond that neither time nor distance can break, a bond that will last forever or so they believe interesting this is gonna be my pick for a book by an author i've never read before because i've never read any books by tilly cole and last prompt is there you go a book that has been on your tbr for over a year okay well this could be any book but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on to my want to read and sort by day added so i can see what day i added these so the ones that are over a year i oh my god i've only been on goodreads since 2023 so the last ones that i have read or that i've added to my want to read was mad honey by jody pickled a thousand boy kisses by tilly cole Hairbones by Holly Cooper, which to be honest, not happening. None of Colleen Hoover's books are being read. Hook, Line and Sinker, which is the second book in the Ballinger, Ballinger series, um, series, but I'm pretty sure that's a summer book. We've got Red, White and Royal Blue. So I actually don't have that many and I don't think I have any of those on my Kindle. I really don't want to read, I could read Hook, Line and Sinker because I have it on my Kindle, but I'm pretty sure it's set in summer. And I really, really, really don't want to read it when it's not in summer. I feel like I'm gonna have to buy one of these books. I don't know which one I want to pick. Mad Honey, I've heard is not great. Maybe we might do Red, White and Royal Blue. I feel like that's a book that everyone's talked about and everyone has read bar me. And I don't know much about it, but I feel like I could be into it. Here we go, Red, White and Royal Blue. Oh, okay, my Kindle just gave up me. Also, has anyone seen the new Kindle colors? Stunning. Oh, romantic enemies to lovers. Oh, no way. You can tell I literally have no idea about this. It's got 57,000 reviews and it's a 4.5 star. Okay, we're gonna buy it. Okay, so I've just bought Red, White and Royal Blue. So that is gonna be our final book now i do need to check the instagram poll although it literally has been up for less than five minutes nine minutes ago nine minutes ago that's how long ago it has been but let's see if the vote is in oh my god okay 60 percent of the vote did dagger and 40 percent of the vote did the snowflake so that means I can't believe this. I'm actually so excited. The fourth book, because it was my fourth choosing, of my TBR for November is going to be Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely cannot believe I'm finally starting this series. I have been wanting to read this series for the longest time and now i finally am and it's thanks to these prompts right let's run through what we've got to read this month 
Okay, so the first prompt that we got was a book picked by a prompt from a random prompt generator and that prompt generator gave us a purple cover. So for that, we are reading The Fake Me. Then the next prompt that we got was a book with the name and the title. And for that, we went for Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Then the next prompt that we got was a book published by an author this year and we've gone for the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. The next prompt that we got was a book blindly picked by Instagram and as we have just heard, we are going with Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. Then the next prompt that we got was a book by an author I haven't read before and of course like I said I wanted to get through my physical TBR so we're gonna go with A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. And then the final prompt that I got was a book that has been in your TBR for over a year and that was Red, White and Royal Blue. So guys I am absolutely loving my November TBR for 2024 I genuinely 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 am excited about every single one of these books like these are books I've been wanting to read for a very long time and the fact that I'm actually going to be reading physical copies of books is crazy because I haven't read a physical copy of a book since the beginning of this year because I bought my Kindle um, just before or just after my baby was born so I'm very 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 excited to get into physical copies and also just get into all of the books if you like seeing more physical books let me know i do plan on starting to buy physical books ones that i'm really desperate to get to but let me know what you think of physical books versus a kindle tbr because i know a kindle tbr is a bit different because obviously you can't really see what i'm choosing from but yeah i know i'm very 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 excited about this so guys if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe please let me know what is on your november tbr and let me know if anyone else is doing the tbr jar i genuinely think it is a great idea for something else to pick out your books because i find it is very overwhelming when you have loads of books to get through and you don't know kind of which one you want to go for i definitely recommend doing that but yeah guys that is it for me today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye